So with just one setting, you can get yourself faster internet, protect yourself against malware, and it's completely, completely free. If that sounds good to you and you want to get that faster connectivity, well today, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Let's do this. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Okay guys, so as we know, whenever you go out onto the web, whether you're searching a website, streaming Netflix or Hulu, playing some games, it does the same thing. The first thing it's got to do, it's got to resolve the name, google.com, into an IP address. It does that using a system called DNS. The faster that it can do that lookup, the quicker the data starts to flow between you and that server. Now typically you would use your ISP's DNS system, and that's good or bad just depending on which country you are and what your infrastructure is like. But there's a new service from a company called Cloudflare. Now if you've heard me talk about Cloudflare before, they've got a service called 1.1.1.1, and essentially that's a free open DNS that anybody can use around the world, giving you that fast, super fast connectivity. And now they have taken it one step better. They've actually launched 1.1.1.1 for families. And what that is, it gives you two layers of protection. Not only does it give you that faster connectivity, but it also filters out malware. And then they've got an additional service. If you've got kids and you want to block the adult type of content, it allows you to do that as well. Now that they've added another layer of content filtering, is it malware, is it adult content? Well, I'm gonna to test today whether their speed actually decreases now, or if it's actually even faster. Let's go find out. Okay, before I make any changes, let's just get a baseline of what my current speed is. I am using speedtest.net. Yes, this is in fast forward mode, and yes, I am running it three times just to get an average. So the readings are as follows, and the average ping is 9.3, average down is 226, and the average up is 11.19 megabits per second. Right, now let's go make some changes. So there's an option. You can either select malware blocking only, or you can select malware and adult content. So depending on which one you wanna do, simply choose one or the other DNS settings. Now remember, I am gonna make my changes on my router. The reason I choose to make the changes on the router, because every single device connected to that network is gonna get those settings. You can choose not to do that. You can choose to set up individual machines with this DNS, and there are instructions here, which I will link to in the description, so you can go and check that out. Now, how do you get your own router settings? Again, I'll have a link in the description. There's a ways to find out what your IP address is. I've already covered that, so it'll be easier just to link to that video. Now that you have your DNS settings, go and change them from the default. Put in 1.1.1.2, 1.0.0.2, click apply, and from this point, every single bit of malware is gonna get blocked out of my network because Cloudflare is going to be blocking it. Okay, so here's my question. Since Cloudflare is now gonna be blocking stuff, what does that do to my speed? I mean, before it was simply a DNS lookup and now it's gonna do some content filtering. So I've made the changes. Let me run speedtest.net three times again. And then let's look at the average to see how much has dropped or changed. Is it faster, is it slower? What's exactly going on? Right, so as we're finishing the final test, this is what we land up with. An average ping of 6.3, down speed of 230.32, and up speed of 11.44. How does that compare? Wait, we're gonna get to that as well. So before we do anything else, let's just go and test out this adult content blocking facility. I'm just gonna update my DNS again. So let me go try hit a famous uh, adult content site, and let's go hit up another one. And as you can see, Clearly, I'm simply not getting it. So what it does is it goes ahead and blocks those IP addresses, doesn't allow you to resolve the name, and therefore you can't even get to that website. So let's go back to the original question. How do they compare before content filtering and post content filtering? So here are the results. So you can see even post changes, 6.3, it's actually got better on the ping, 230 got faster on the download and a little bit faster on the upload. But the cool thing is it's now blocking adult content 
and it's now blocking malware. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm definitely gonna continue testing this. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and check out more about faster internet, faster connectivity and DNS kind of stuff right over there. Okay, and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.